is the most disgusting person you have ever met. I've met so many disgusting people the whole 21 years I've been alive but never have I ever met someone as repulsive as my fiancé's sister. She's biracial, white and black, and she's really light-skinned with kinky hair and green eyes. She was raised by the white side of the family, maternal side, but she forces herself to act all tough and gangsta. She dates ex-convicts and my fiancé joked about her going on our town's mugshot website to shop for her next book. Anyway, growing up, she was the spoiled kid in the family. The fam always bought her brand new branded clothes like Nike, etc. while my fiancé would get Walmart or Goodwill shit or hand-me-downs. She's got the best school supplies, the best phones, the best electronics, and even a brand new car, which her friend wrecked and they got her another one afterwards. Fiancé didn't get anything as good as her. He didn't get a brand new car, he had to get a job in order to buy a used one. She was sent to prison for armed robbery with her boyfriend. She was in prison for about a year or two. Fiancé sold his truck to help pay for her lawyer. She came home sometime in Jan slash February this year and was on probation. She broke up with her ex-con boyfriend and got with a 34-year-old aspiring rapper slash ex-con. He knocked her up within two months of being together. She didn't get a job because she was too pregnant to work. She would complain so much about everything. She's so ungrateful. One time, she said she'd rather go back to prison because people respect her there. The only reason why she got respect was because grandma and GPA would give her stuff to sell inside. Her boyfriend would keep coming over and as the weeks go by, he'd stay a little while longer. Soon, he slowly started moving in her grandma's house and both of them freeloaded off of the poor grandma. Grandma was about to retire because grandpa is dying from bladder cancer. A few years back, she stole $2,000 from her dying great-grandpa. Earlier this year, she stole $200 from her grandma. Kind GMA was forgiving and didn't report her to her probation officer. Boyfriend couldn't keep a job. He got fired because he couldn't handle getting yelled at and he threw a fit at work. He got another job but quit a few weeks later because he wasn't getting enough hours. Car is broken so he borrows grandparents' car. Grandparents co-sign so he could buy a car. He loses another job and f's up grandparents' credit score because he can't pay shit. He pees on the front yard and he probably shit there too because it smelled like shit one time. He doesn't like going inside the house because he thinks everyone is judging him. Well duh? Isn't it obvious? You can't hold a job and you pee and shit on their lawn. Who wouldn't judge? Family buys her all these expensive baby stuff for her to use. She recently gave birth and the first thing she did after giving birth was to ask people for some money. Still doesn't have a job and she still free loads off of her grandparents. After she got discharged, she barely took care of her daughter. She would often just sit in the car and let it run. They ask for gas money cause they keep running out of gas. How? They sit in that damn car all day and let it run. Who takes care of the baby? Her dying grandfather, retiring grandmother, and her mom. She seldom pops inside and doesn't really interact with the baby. I remember coming over sometimes and the baby would be in the living room while she's sitting in the car with her boyfriend. Family grew fed up with her and called DCF while she was gone. DCF and a probation officer come by the house. Baby is home but where's mama? She's still on probation but she's not home. She literally had a month left until her probation was over. She should have just waited till then before going out and doing shit. She got arrested last month and stayed in jail for a couple of weeks. Police found weed ashes under the baby's car seat and the whole car reeked of weed. They couldn't do anything else because they lacked further evidence. While she was gone, boyfriend asked grandpa for $1.4,000 to pay for rent. Grandpa suggests coming with him so he can actually see if he really did find a place. Boyfriend says never mind. She recently got out of jail. What the f bro? We thought she'd be in prison for 10 years but nope she got out and had to wear that ankle monitor. Family is done with her shit and told her that they're dead to her. They call the family to ask for money, but the family refuses. They stopped by to grab some stuff and left to sleep in some hotel. Fiancé said grandpa's handgun is missing. Baby is still in the care of mom and grandma.